What could this be about? Here we go. I'm sure the WWE Universe is dying to know what's going on. Not exactly likable. No lacking for confidence, that's for sure. What's this all about? This is going to be awesome. Let's see what she has to say. Somebody needs to count the 10. No love between these superstars, that's for sure. Well, not the best promotion we've ever heard. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's confused. I sure hope the match is more exciting than that promo. And what a lot... We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next.
We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against Dolph Ziggler. Who will reign supreme? to the ring. Well, I had my hopes they would keep it professional. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. He may have to worry about internal injuries. We may have discovered his favorite move. going to win many. Dolph Ziggler makes a point each and every night to steal the show. The show-off takes pride in showing that he's athletically superior and that while he's stealing the show inside the squared circle, he's stealing the hearts of the female fans in the audience. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. As we get started, guys, let me just say how great it is for us to be back here in Biloxi. Second time we're seeing this here. Taking the boots to him. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. Oh, I think this man means business. He's moving like a man possessed. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Tried for it early. Ain't no stopping him now. Bobby Roode, Byron. Here it comes, gloriously delivered, a fisherman's suplex. I can't believe it, Michael. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Counter here. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Dolph Ziggler turns it around. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. He got all that one. And it's Dolph Ziggler with the reversal. No doubt about that neck breaker. Wow, missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. Look at this, Dolph Ziggler doing some good work here. Dolph Ziggler turns it around. Zigzag! That could be it, guys. Looking to catch him off guard. Dolph Ziggler did it. Dolph Ziggler got a huge win.
Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have Team Baron Corbin versus Team AJ Styles. Introducing first, from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. This one lives up to the hype, Byron. We're in for an amazing match here tonight. There's no reason to think this one won't live up to the hype, Michael. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck.
and his partner. From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. The tag team action underway here. AJ Styles with good timing here. AJ Styles got him there. He paid for that one. Oh man, big time. There's the axe handle. Tell us about AJ Styles. It's a tag team match, so the parts are sometimes greater than the whole. What can we expect here? What we have here is a tag team that's ready for greatness. We know he has a skill to raise his game in there whenever he chooses to. And the situation may call for it ultimately, but that's up to him. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Look at this damage being delivered to the back. He's starting to feel it here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Great offense by AJ Styles. Back in from the floor. Look, Jeff Hardy is on the attack now. He delivers a crushing neck breaker. And he goes down hard. Jeff Hardy's on the attack. That landed perfectly. And Jeff Hardy heads up the turnbuckle. Desperately trying to get... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Man, Jeff Hardy crashes down hard. When this guy's on, look out. He catches him off guard with that amazing acrobatic move. Now it's Baron Corbin looking a little uneasy. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Jeff Hardy came up big in that exchange. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look at this! Will this be it? And 
we have our winners. No doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. It's Team Fandango versus the Usos. This match is going to blow the roof off the place. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off here tonight. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. And if this match is even half as exciting as we expect, there won't be a single person in this Biloxi crowd tonight singing the blues. It's not looking good for Fandango here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. As the action continues, let's discuss Jey Uso briefly. It's a tag team match, so the parts are sometimes greater than the whole. What can we expect here? 
No one can speak to tag teams like I can. This team's more than ready to be one of the absolute best in the business. Now he finds himself in this match on a team that looks primed and ready to win. But there are two other individuals who feel the same way. Prepare to witness an incredible clash. Nice job by Jey Uso. Back in the ring now. They're really cutting it close though, Michael. What do you think Fandango needs to do to get back in this battle? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Hey, while he might not want to hit Tequila Sunrise! Saxton, you should eat the worm. Can he end it here? This night could be over for Fandango. The WWE Universe does not appreciate the actions of Jey Uso. Jey made it clear the ideology he subscribes to is survival of the fittest, only the strong survive. The colorful outfits, the cheers from the fans, and the war paint are long gone. Executed. Back in from the apron. Look, Jimmy Uso's on the attack now. Byron, you know these guys better than anyone. In fact, you say you're responsible for their career. So it was shocking to witness Jay and Jimmy Uso turn their backs on the WWE Universe. But that was a long time ago, and it's clear Jay Uso is only concerned with doing what's best for him. And not just defeating his opponents, but taking them out of action completely. The WWE Universe can save their whining for someone else, as far as I'm concerned. I think it's great that Jay Uso wants to take a more assertive role in his career. The happy colors, the high fives, the war paint, all gone. And I hope it never comes back. Blame Byron for that. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Incredible! He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Hoping to make a tag here. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Very impressive drop kick. He's going for it all. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Nobody ever accused Fandango of being shot. You better be careful here. Whoa! And there's Tyler Breeze in off the tag. Tyler better be careful he doesn't lose focus here. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? It's Oos time! Ooh. Thinking about backing it up like, boom! That hurt. Here's his chance to win this. Now Jimmy Uso needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Jay Uso looking to go airborne. This could be it. Uso splash! He's back in control here. What an incredible tag team contest. Here are your winners, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. The Uso. Wow, big win right there. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Up next, we have singles action. It's Chad Gable versus a formidable opponent. 
This is going to be one to remember. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Guys, what better way? What's to this? Go? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Oh man, there it is. And we have unofficially started here. Yeah, this referee won't put up with too much of this. They need to get in the ring so we can officially start here. the bell and here we go this is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say this is what WWE's all about and this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this well actually it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything as we get started guys let me just say how great it is for us to be back here in Biloxi here's Nakamura with some offense of his own I can't wait to see his plan of attack. What do you expect from him? It's still early, but I really like his chances here tonight. He certainly looks more focused than I remember seeing him in recent weeks. I agree, and I think this is one of those matchups that could be one of the greats. Doing damage with the knee now. Whoops, not even close. What was he thinking? Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. Well executed drop kick. Look at Chad Gable here. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. Comes up big with the reversal. Now there's the counter. The king of strong style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Nobody does it quite like him. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. Kinshasa! Let's take a quick look at that again. That could be it, Michael. This is the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Taking away his vertical base. Takes him down with brute force there. On, he dodges out of the way. Got the reversal. Not sure if he can sustain this, but it's sure fun to watch right now. Connects with a counter. A spectacular DDT drops him. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher.
The king of strong style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Here's his moment, Michael. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. Kinshasa! That has got to be it. He could pin his opponent right here. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura! Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have Becky Lynch against Ruby Riot. This is going to be amazing. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Here we Becky go. Lynch. Ooh, I think we all knew it wouldn't make it to the ring. Well, I had my hopes they would keep it professional. This is a one on one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Ruby Riot connecting with a good shot. Tell us about Becky Lynch. How's she going to get it done here? I like what she brings to the table here tonight, Cole, but if I'm being completely honest, this one's just too close to call. Both of these women are so amazing. One thing I can say about her is if she does get beat, it won't be because of a lack of preparation or effort. Becky Lynch may be starting to fade here. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. She's definitely slowing down here a bit. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. Here's Ruby Riot. Nice job by Ruby Riot in there. And we're back to this form of attack. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Ruby Riot saw that one coming and made her pay. The overhand punch connects. And a powerful slam down onto the back. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out! Look at her here. 
She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Nobody home for that one. No kidding. There weren't even any lights on. Ruby Raya turns it around. Oh, what an enziguri right in the ear. She's got a chance to win it here. Looking to put an end to their... Can she do it here? And she comes up short. If you're going to leave your feet, you got to make sure you're going to land the move. It starts to feel like a broken record with that move. She's looking to make a comeback, but can she get it done? Becky Lynch has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much she has left in the tank. This is not at all how she threw this thing up, guys. That might have hurt her ego more than anything else. Nicely executed. Been a rough night for her so far, Corey. It's going to get a lot rougher if she doesn't get up. Look at her go. Having a tough time getting back up here. As you would expect, given what she's been through here tonight. Nope, that one misses. Boy, that was terrible. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Ruby Riot, that's got to be it. Is it enough to put Becky away? Jeez, I don't like Becky Lynch's chances in this one. She's looking at it. She's back in full control now. This one might be over, guys. Yeah, and this is why. Take a look. And this has got to be it. the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Ruby Ryan. Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It'll be Team Randy Orton versus Team Hell No. Introducing first, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. 
What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. movement is in full effect as Daniel Bryan makes his way to the ring. Man, I never get tired of seeing the WWE Universe react to Daniel Bryan. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. 
As we get started, guys, let me just say how great it is for us to be back here in Biloxi. He delivers a hard clothesline. How about we touch on Randy Orton a bit? In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? He and his partner look good so far, Cole, but it's far too early to pick a winner. Let's see how this one plays out. Well, I think we can count on his team to take advantage of a mistake his opponent's making there and use that against them to get the victory. Remember, no one likes the bitter taste of defeat. I have to tell you, the RKO from Randy Orton is a thing of beauty. Well, unless you're the one who's getting dropped by it. The Apex Predator's speed and power are just the beginning because an RKO can occur at any moment. Kane making a statement as we speak. He lands the overhand. And a great shot by Kane. Now we have Kane on the attack. You know when you take direct hits like that, it becomes hard to move. If you can't move, you can't win. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. Corey, it still amazes me how quickly Randy Orton can strike an opponent with the RKO. Obviously, the WWE Universe feels the same way since the hashtag out of nowhere trends on social media whenever the Viper uncoils. It doesn't matter if an opponent is behind Randy Orton, in front of him, attacking him. The Viper is always one RKO from victory. like grip on his opponent's skull. Here's his chance. I think Kane just secured this match. Kane showing some expert prowess here. Looking to make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. Kane is looking to end this. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Kane in defensive mode now. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. He has him right where he wants him. Back pain could be dull, achy. Could this be it? A win like that says a lot about a duo. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. These two work so well together, Michael. I'd be surprised if they went their separate ways anytime soon. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.